to another motor vlog. The clouds are rolling in rather quick, but we still got some beautiful sunshine out today, so yeah. So we got two things for you. First one is I'm thinking of finally upgrading my phone. I'm currently running the Samsung S5 Neo, uh, which has served me amazingly well for quite a while now. Um, it is getting a bit long in the tooth though and I'm having a lot of problems with it uh, dealing with the actual video rendering. Um, I know it's not designed for that but that's what I want to use it for. So it needs to compete with what I wanted to do. That and they're offering some really good deals on the A8, uh, Samsung A8. Um, wife's got an S9 Pro and it's pretty friggin skookum but the extra price on it is uh, not so much. <laughs> so I think I may go with an A8 uh, since they're pretty comparable. I mean I would like to have the non-electronic uh, stabilization on the videos having a physical stabilizer uh, which would make this a lot smoother of a ride and I wouldn't have to stabilize it in post. But it's you know like four or five hundred dollars more. So you know for that money I'd go get a you know GoPro Hero 7. Maybe not the black edition for that amount, but either way. So I'm gonna look into that today, check out some options. If anyone has any opinions or um whatnot that they would like to throw out there on whether they like the A8. Uh, feel free. I would like to hear everyone's opinion on that. That would be awesome. If I can get some actual feedback on someone that owns one or has used both. Uh, I've already used the S9 or seen one in use, so I know that they're, the way that its aperture and shutters work on the rear camera uh, is pretty amazing, actually, for low-light situations. I was really impressed with the photos that she was able to gather on low-light. So that would definitely help the nighttime auto-vlogging, for sure. Number two, uh, the other thing that I need to start thinking about or dealing with is I haven't been running every day. I just, I friggin' miss it. I love to my daily runs or pretty dang close to daily runs. I'd normally run about 2K to 5K a day, uh, getting in roughly about 20,000 steps in a day with or without the run. Um, so. I really need to start that. I've, I just kind of dropped it and I've started putting on weight because of it because I'm eating like I used to eat when I was uh, getting that much exercise in every day and I'm not anymore. Uh, so my body's deciding to pack it on a bit. Nothing horrible like 10, 10 or so pounds that I want to get back to 150 pounds uh, which is where I'm the most comfortable at and it's nothing I can't do for sure. I'm just not really sure how I want to go about getting there from where I'm at. Um, there's a number of things that work really well for me. I'm not really going to prescribe any specific diets. I'm not really a diet person. Uh, I really like to just be able to eat whatever I want, but I want to balance that out with the burning of the calories from the workouts that I do. Uh, so I think I'm going to pick up the running, uh, get my step counts up to 20,000 a day, give or take and go from there. I might start doing the, my shoulder actually, I, I did injure my shoulder uh, with uh, messed up incline push-ups at one point and I really tore something bad and they were the point where I couldn't even do a single push-up for uh, almost two months. Uh, but it's the point now where I can actually start doing push-ups again. So I might want to edge on working in uh, push-up, sit-up, the squat routine like I was doing before. Uh, I really enjoyed that. It was simple and easy to do and I could do it uh, 150 push-ups, sit-ups and squats. Uh, squats would be about 350 uh, per day and it was quite easy to work that in around my uh, schedule so I could do you know 25 here, 50 there or what have you and it didn't feel like it was beating me up too bad. So I think I might go that route. We'll see how the push-up part works. Uh, I might work into it maybe 
doing 50 per day for the first month and working up from there that might be a good good goal either way i'm going to play with it for the rest of october here i don't have much left in october uh, my birthday is the 8th of november and i would like to kind of get this sorted so i have a good goal and plan and something i can focus on for my for november and leading into december um, I don't mind a little bit extra weight. It is nothing really to do with the weight. I just feel better um, when I'm active and I do things like that. Uh, and I just haven't been, uh, you know, there's lots of things to blame it on. It's been a bit of a rough couple months. So I want to get back into that. And I'm just going to have to find out exactly how to do it. And the easy, normally the best way to do that is to just get off my butt and do it. Um, so I might start off with a 5K run tonight. We'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, you guys have a good night. Or good day. See you later. Thanks for joining me. And be out.